Uh, hi, everybody. Uh, thanks for coming out tonight. Uh, my name is Paul Walsh, and I'm a senior systems engineer for Ryanair. And I'm just going to take uh, five or ten minutes just to run through our migrate from physical tape to tape gateway and VTL, uh, which we did just over a year ago. Does anybody actually know who Ryanair is? No, a few people? Yeah, good. If you're in Europe, I suppose everybody would know. Um, Ryanair is the uh, number one international airline in the world uh, by passenger number. As you can see, we do about 2,400 flights uh, per day, uh, operate out of 239 airports and uh, over 2,100 routes and 153 million customers a year, heading to 200 million uh, in the next five years. Um, I'm part of actually Ryanair Labs, which provides IT services to Ryanair. There is approximately 500 people in the department, and that includes developers, BI, uh, DBAs, and uh, my team then is 71 people in support, and uh, we are responsible for uh, all of the ESX hypervisor hosts, um, storage systems, uh, networking, uh, switches, and everything, everything related to storage and uh, VMware. And uh, we're also responsible for backup and archiving of all Ryanair systems. And I suppose like every company, the uh, one or some of the major problems you come across is every year is growing data volumes and uh, the need to manage these, this data growth within a reasonable budget. And as everybody knows, uh, Everybody wants to keep all their data forever and never get rid of it, which is not really feasible, but that's what happens. Um, and this is just a, a snapshot of our, what we did for backups before we moved to Tape Gateway. Um, this solution covers all of our head office backups, which include multiple critical flight systems for the airline, which the airline can't uh, function without. Uh, you can see here that uh, Every day we do 28, or we do 28 copies on disk, uh, which we keep, uh, which change daily. Uh, every day these um, backups are replicated to our DR site, so we have a copy of all those backups in DR as well as in HQ on disk, available for immediate to restore. And <clears throat> we then did multi monthly backups to physical tape and ship them off site. And these are the challenges that we had when we were using physical tapes. The first one is the primary reason why we changed to tape gateway and away from physical tapes is CRC errors and tape damage, invisible tape damage. The tape looks good, but you're on tape nine of your restore and suddenly it fails. And uh, these could be tapes you have restored from previously. You recall them, you send them back off site, you recall them back, you send them back off site again, and eventually possibly to get damaged in transit or by uh, an engineer who's not taking care of them. Um, so this was the main reason that we switched from physical to uh, VTL. Uh, then obviously the, the standard um, challenges that you come across with physical tape is buying in new tapes monthly, waiting for them to get shipped in, sticking the labels onto them, uh, unloading and loading your tape libraries, cleaning drives, uh, library maintenance, firmware updates, shipping, chipping tapes off-site, arranging for someone to come in and collect those tapes, and then, of course, calling the company, retrieving the tapes, waiting for them to arrive, loading the tapes up in the tape library, doing the restore, and then having to send them back off-site again when you're finished. Um, we looked at a number of different options uh, before we decided to go to Tape Gateway. Uh, the first one, was to keep using tapes and change to the latest technology, go to LTO8. And then, because we still have years of tapes, uh, change to Tape Library as a service for some of our older backups uh, and not keep those tape drives live in head office. Um, but they would give us the same challenges that we have currently. We'd still have tapes failing, tapes getting damaged, uh, having to deal with external companies sending tapes off site, bringing them on site buying tapes in monthly. Uh, so another option we looked at was uh, deduping devices and actually doing uh, backups to disk and keeping them on disks. 
And of course, one of the major problems with DGPing devices is they're extremely expensive. Um, in order to have our data in three locations, we would have had to open up a, a third data center, um, which is uh, obviously an extra cost. We couldn't keep uh, backups in HQ and then two copies in Dior because we don't have our data in three places. It's not safe. And then the other option is just using, which is slightly cheaper than deduplication, is uh, backup to disk, just using standard disk backups with no deduplication or anything like that. But again, you have the problems you have to have a third data center and you're constantly buying in new disk shelves. You have disk failures to deal with and all the usual stuff around uh, uh, dealing with, with hard drives. Then we turn to AWS. So moving to Tape Gateway, uh, why did we do it? Well, our two backup products that we use are Veeam and Data Protect. Both of them support uh, Tape Gateway out of the box. Uh, both companies provide extremely easy to use guides. They're only three or four pages long. It takes no more than 25 minutes to deploy a gateway and attach it to your environment and you can straight away start backing up to the gateway. And once you've done that, you no longer have to buy in tapes every month. Uh, there's no more tape maintenance to be done, no more firmware updates, no more cleaning tapes, um, no more shipping tapes off-site, no more worrying about CRC errors. Once the backup is done, you know it's safe, it's stored off-site already, and there's no actual physical movement of tapes uh, around. And of course, it's pay-as-you-go because you get billed monthly rather than paying up front uh, for uh, new tape drives and tape libraries and all that kind of stuff. So this is what we do now. Uh, nothing has changed. We still do daily backups, keeping 28 copies on disk. We still replicate those uh, backups to Dior every day just to, just to be safe. And the last line is the only thing that changed is now the tape jobs point at the, the VTL provided by the tape gateway instead of at our old tape uh, drives. And that change is as simple as going into the job, right-clicking on the job, clicking edit, going down to the tape drive tab, picking the new tape drive, and clicking OK, and it's done. We didn't have to change any uh, times or schedules or backup schedules. The next time the backup job ran, it ran to AWS, and the tapes uh, appeared in the console as used, and we just kept going from there. So this is what it looks like now. We have our, uh, same, as the, same as the previous slide, we have our Veeam and uh, Data Protect running. We uh, back up the disk in head office. We replicate those to DR. And then step three is the tape jobs run and they get sent out to AWS and stored in S3 and then eventually archived down into Glacier Deep Archive. And of course, with this option now, we have tape gateways also in DR. And when we want to restore, we can simply mount the tape in either head office or DR and restore to either side uh, without having to leave our desks, which obviously frees up a lot of uh, engineer time. And this is just a, a very quick example of our, of our backup times. Uh, you can see the, the top one there is, took 28 minutes. It was a physical backup to LT07. And the bottom one took 25 minutes and it was a tape back up the exact, the exact same job, run one week later, uh, same size, you can see everything, and it was three minutes quicker. So just to summarize then, the challenges that we had was CRC errors, and if we stuck with physical tape, we had that risk ongoing, changed to AWS, and no more risk of that with the 11.9's redundancy. The monthly purchase of tapes, uh, purchase orders, waiting for delivery and all that stuff is gone. You'd simply go into the console, select create tapes, uh, pick your tape drive and just present the tapes and you're done. Go back into your tool and inventory the library and the new tapes pop up. Uh, unloading and loading of tape libraries. Obviously there was no more requirement for engineers to run down to the comms room or run down to reception to meet, to meet a delivery guy. Um, it's all done automatically now. At the end of the job, the tape is ejected. It's stored in... Uh, Amazon or AWS, and uh, we can recall it from, without leaving our desks. Cleaning of drives, that's gone, no, not, no longer required. Uh, library maintenance, firmware updates, replacing faulty parts, that's not done anymore. Uh, the software is automatically updated by uh, AWS um, with a window you pick just in the middle of the night or whatever, or sometime your tape drive is quiet. It automatically does the updates there, and um, 
it, it takes out that. Shipping of tapes off-site or to on-site, that's gone now. It's, as I said before, it's done directly from the console. And the cost. Uh, no more ongoing purchases, no more support for tape libraries, uh, no more large spends on new hardware upgrades. And um, as you can see there at the bottom, uh, I did our sums uh, between this, uh, every backup this year and the same period last year, and it was 65% cheaper.